Hey guys, just got home from school. It sucked, but today I got this in the mail. My new Apple Watch. And my sister's cat is just like poking against the camera. Yeah, I know. So I bought this Apple Watch for about 200 with tax. It was an open item, so it was a little bit cheaper, about $20 cheaper. And they shipped it in this, a cheap and flimsy envelope. I wonder if I bought a completely new one, they would have shipped it in a box of more protective material. Oh well, let's see if it's okay. Move, cat. This is not gonna work, I need scissors. Knife is okay too. Oh, almost cut myself. My god, this is so dangerous right now. Gimme! Okay, here's the watch. It's in a long, really dirty box because I bought it refurbished. <laughs> Just look. What did they do with it? Just like throw it in the dirt to unbox it? And... Oh my god, I should probably move this knife out of the way. The product said it was in excellent condition, so hopefully that's true and it's not just the box that looks like this with crappy Best Buy tape that's already opened and dirt everywhere with this sticker kind of peeled off. Opening it... Hmm, the inside looks really clean, especially this little plastic case for the watch. And my sister's cat is playing with the envelope. Great. As you can see in the background. Ugh, oh, come on. Put this aside like all the other pretentious unboxers who always put aside the uh, main thing to look at the accessories first. So we have this really long paperwork. Are there Apple stickers? Nope, just a bunch of instructions on how to charge and how to use some apps. No Apple stickers. Well, I bought it open item, so I don't know if the last guy just took them out. But the charger and the charging brick look new. Yeah, they're wrapped and they look new. Wow, it's longer than the iPhone charger. This really came as a surprise because when I chose the shipping items on Best Buy, it said it would take more than a week, but I just checked the tracking on the bus ride home and it said today, which I wasn't expecting. It's been two days since I ordered it, which was a really su which was a really big surprise when I got off the bus. Cat's playing with the charging brick. <laughs> now it's all scratched up, great. Yeah, so when I checked the tracking on the bus and it said delivered, I was so excited I just like ran off the bus to go to my mailbox. And now the main event. Yes. Oh wow, good presentation. Look how nicely they wrapped it. Yep, saves $20. Hopefully they cleaned it because I'm pretty sure this kind of material can absorb way more germs than that plastic material they include. And if you guys are wondering what I did with that iPod Nano watch, so the person who originally wanted to buy it in the first place, he couldn't buy it in the first place because his parents would have let him buy it, now came back to buy it again, but this time at a cheaper price. Last time he wanted to pay like 60 or 70, but now he paid like 40 because I'm upgrading to this yay and I'm so glad because now people will stop asking if my iPod Nano watch is an Apple watch Well, not anymore this time I can say yes It is an Apple watch and yes, I sold my iPod Nano watch today, which is perfect timing I wasn't even expecting this today. So let's go set it up. All right got my phone and my new watch I wish I could put watch OS 3 on it, but that's only for just like paid developers now like public beta so I have to deal with like the slow watch OS 2. I should probably plug the watch in. Okay, this time next to a power outlet. Clicks in like magnetically. Okay, and it has to charge first. Because it's open item. That's why I get for saving $20. Let's try to fit it on my wrist first to see if it feels comfortable. Yeah, I know, I'll charge you later. It's not as easy to put on as my old iPod Nano watch. So, wow, this is really shorter than my old one because on my iPod Nano watch, I could pull it up to there and it would be good but I have to pull it up double on this one if that makes any sense. The holes are a little bit too small for that little metal piece. Hmm, I like it. The size is smaller so it's not quite as noticeable as the iPod Nano watch. Okay, we're gonna let it charge for about an hour or two, that's what I heard about. In the meantime, I just took to weave it throughout this mess and through my nightstand, which is pretty nerdy, and up to here. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, so let's set it up. Okay, let's turn it on. We have this uh, digital crown, which is very nice to use. English. Okay, now we're ready to start pairing. Oh, it's giving us a really cool display of something. I think it's supposed to be static or something to represent it's not connected. I heard that this method doesn't work, but we can try. Oh. 
it did work. I guess most YouTubers didn't realize that they need this pattern to be on so it can like work. We're gonna update now. Are you serious? Well, guess I'm gonna have to plug it in again and wait about another hour. Oh, ne no, never mind, it changed to 20. Hmm, well, I'm getting an error. Not a good experience so far. Now the camera won't work again, so guess we just have to do it manually. Is it because I'm running iOS 10 on this and I'm not running Watch OS 3 on this? Okay, so I just relaunched the app and now it works again. Set up. I am wearing it on my left. Agree. Yeah. My camera is thinking this is a face right now. Oh, you don't need to see that. That's my email. Okay. Thank you for the email. Gonna create a long passcode. You can't see this. Unlock Apple Watch with iPhone. Sure. Okay, activity, yes. I identify as a male. Are there any other options? There's a not set option. <laughs> yes, I am probably very underweight. Very lightly set move goal. <laughs> yeah, I set up Apple Pay. You also don't need to see this. Oh man, I have to call my bank to set up Apple Pay on this too. I have to call them to set it up on my phone. Now this too, great. Sure, yeah. Oh, look, installing apps that I already have on my phone to this. That'll take a few more minutes. Ooh, beat? Yes. And my phone is displaying this, so guess we're done. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go play with this for a second, and see you guys soon. So yeah, I know there's gonna be an Apple event in about a week where they're gonna announce new Apple Watches, and you probably think I'm an idiot for buying this, but it was on sale for a really cheap price, and I don't think the Apple Watch 2 will introduce a ton of new stuff that I would really want to make me buy it. I might as well just get this one while it's on sale, so to save money. But if the Apple Watch 2 does bring a lot of good things, I might just like return this and buy that. You guys want to see me risk $200 right off? Yes. So, I just watched the Apple event today. It was so fun just seeing Shigeru Miyamoto on stage. That was really unexpected. But Apple Watches, uh, I'm not going to get the new version because it is about, I don't know, $60 more than the one I paid for. And all it does is speed it up a little bit. And that's what Watch OS 3 is supposed to do, so I'm not going to buy the new Apple Watch. The only thing I regret is after they announced the new Apple Watch, the watch that I paid for, the price went down by another $10. So yeah... Not gonna buy the new Apple Watch, just have some regrets from not waiting a little bit longer. Uh, okay, bye.